Hi friends, welcome back to another video on practical penmanship. This video is based on another request from a comment on one of the last videos by AA. I think that's how you would say your name. And he's asking, what is the best way to implement whole arm movement as a left-hander? So in this week's video, we investigate just that. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Writing Desk. As I had said earlier, today's video was inspired by a question by AA, AA, and his question was regarding left-handed whole arm handwriting. And so for the past week, I've done a lot of research on what this might look like and how we could best implement whole arm movement into left-handed writing. And I found this series of videos that a YouTuber by the name of Marbus had created a year or so ago. And he had about five videos or so. And that was my main point of reference for this video. I couldn't really find any other resources on this subject. So for the most part, I've just been experimenting on my own with how we could actually implement some whole arm movement into our left-handed forward writing. And if you're new to my videos, uh, you might not know I'm naturally a right-handed person and I've been teaching myself to write with both hands for about six years now. So that's kind of where my frame of reference comes. So one thing that I notice in Marbus's videos is the way that he holds his pen. He holds it very high up on the barrel and has a very light touch when he hand writes. And it's hard to tell anything else other than that. His angle of his page in reference to his body is hard to tell. His angle for his videos aren't very revealing in any way. The best I can do is experiment with what I see in his videos and how we can replicate what he does because he actually writes very nicely for a left-hander and if he's truly using solely whole arm movement, he's doing so very well. So we're gonna try to replicate more or less what we see him do and I'm gonna do my best to give you some video angles that will reveal better what I'm doing so that you could potentially implement this style of whole arm writing into your own handwriting. So the, the Palmer exercises consist of a slant drill and a an compact oval drill in either rotation. So the only way to really effectively implement that movement using the left hand in whole arm writing is through rather than a push-pull motion is a side-to-side -side motion. And interestingly enough, I have found that you, if you're a natural left-hander and you really spend some time devoted to a handwriting in this way, you might find that it is actually easier to do the Palmer method as a left-handed person. And I think only I could know this because I write with both hands and anybody else who writes with both hands might also be able to tell. Obviously the compact oval drill is not going to look as seamlessly as it does with my right hand. I have been practicing a lot in these last few days. Probably devoted at least five hours or more to practicing. And the drills that Marbus shows in his videos are a little bit different than what they look like in the Palmer method. He does these drills and he also calls it something a little different. He says running handwriting, but uh, he also calls it Palmer method. So it's kind of confusing as to where he might have learned what he's doing. But he does these rotations that are a lot larger. And when you see his drills, you might think that he's not going to be very good at handwriting. But once he starts writing, it looks very nice, actually. So <coughs> he does these movements here. And you're going to see that my handwriting looks a lot better than these drills might actually make them out to be. So I'm going to just start off with the recommended words that Palmer has in his manuscript, which is mine, use, uses, and sell.
And so this side to side movement compared to the right hand that has to push and pull, push and pull is actually easier than, than the push and pull. So I would imagine that if I continue to practice this with my left hand, um, I will actually surpass my right hand in handwriting. And you will notice also if you watch Marbus's videos, he can write rather quickly using this technique. One thing that I have had some difficulty with in using whole arm movement is the best way to move across the page. So if I move downward, eventually I hit a point where the elasticity of my skin no longer allows me to move fluidly and it would seem as if a different angle would be more fitting. So that's another thing that I've had some trouble with is finding the best possible angle for, our, for handwriting. So I've experimented with a few different things and here in this video you're going to see me continue to experiment because I still haven't found the best way to do it. And the times where it does feel most natural, it's very difficult to continue writing down the page, maintaining the exact same angle. You have to be very careful and very precise. trying to take mental pictures as I go along with the angle of the page, the area where the line that I'm going to write across is. Another thing that I'll do sometimes is I'll try to move my hand all the way across and see if I can keep it on the same line. In order to do that, it requires a lesser slant, but then I lose some of the natural side-to-side -side motion that keeps a consistent slant in my writing. So I'm not too bad at this style of writing and part of it feels a little bit easier, the movement, it feels a little bit more natural. And this was a big surprise to me the first time I was practicing because I always imagined that left-handed whole arm movement would be a hell of a lot harder than the right hand, but it's turned out to be a lot easier. And one thing that I've done to try to find the best position and the best motions to move through is I've switched the hand uh, the pen into the right hand and I've done these drills in mirror image and this allows me to experiment with what might be the most comfortable position for my right hand in the exact same mirrored form. And I've also found that with the right hand it seems to come rather naturally the movement. So with my right hand I'll do these drills in mirror image and again, I'm running into this problem where I'm, I can't move seamlessly down the page because my angle is quite um, steep. And sometimes I find that if I practice this often enough, and then I switch back to the left hand, I actually notice some improvement. So this is a secret that I've continued to use in different areas of my life, this ambidextrous secret. And you can check out a video where I've talked more about ambidexterity somewhere in the cards up here and how to implement it to handwriting and why I choose to do so. And I do try to go slow at times. This allows me to Pay more attention to where the movement is coming from. Is it coming from the whole arm? Is it coming more from the wrist? My goal has always been to use a majority of the muscles in the arm rather than in the, in the wrist or the fingers. find that nice angle. So that felt quite natural. Quite natural. Nice angles. Okay, 
here. I do find that my range of motion is much less with the left hand across the page. And it could be because I have a large spacing here between letters. And I can work on making things a little bit more tighter so that I can write longer words without having as much trouble. Now one of the things that stands out most from Ar Marbus's videos is the way he holds his pen because he's holding it very high up on the barrel. And I've gone ahead and replicated his grip simply because I like a light grip in general and there seems to be a bit more finesse in this kind of high uh, barrel grip. But if you're somebody who feels more comfortable with a grip closer to the nib, I don't think you'll find any sort of trouble in implementing the same sort of motion. So that is one thing I noticed, however, is if I'm closer to the nib, uh, my motion is, I feel a little bit more limited in, in where my paper is. So the paper, for example, if I write here, it has to be closer to the nib. If I write here, I could write a little further away from where my hand placement is. So I can tell it's going to take maybe a month or so of practicing these types of movements for them to become fully natural. I think, however, that in the long run, this left-handed style of handwriting might be more practical than the right-handed. Now, from doing all this practice with the left hand forward, my right-handed penmanship has improved a ton. So just to go ahead and support this idea that ambidexterity improves the dominant side even when the dominant side is not being used. These overturn drills used to be a nightmare for me. But because the left hand style of writing is requiring more of these drills rather than the underturn, I've actually improved quite a bit in them. Go ahead and see how the left-handed forward handwriting is comparing to this. It's really not that bad. It is a little bit larger with the left hand, I'm finding. But that's pretty natural in my own experience when learning handwriting. I tend to enlarge, and enlarge the letters slightly. 
and then later on they will shrink down once my chlorination picks up. Minimum is another good word to practice because it has a good combination and flow between over rotations and under rotations. Some drills that I can see Marvis practice in his videos is he does these letters followed by these rotations. Why he does that, I have no idea. I have not seen anybody do this type of drill, but I thought I'd go ahead and see if it helps me out in any other way. He also does these uh, swirls. So he'll start uh, somewhere like this, do a rotation like this, rotation like this, something like that. And uh, again, I don't know entirely why he does it, but I can see how that kind of movement transitions well into his flowy handwriting style. And he does have very nice handwriting. I wish he'd reveal a little bit more about how he, he does it. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Let's go ahead, let's write some more variety. Let's do... Thank you. Thank you for watching. video you have found found this helpful All right, thanks for joining me at the writing desk, and we will see you here next week. So friends, I hope you have found this week's video helpful, and if you're a left-hander, make sure to let me know what you think of this style of writing, whether or not it's feasible for you, and whether or not it's actually practical for you in the long run. I have found this method rather effective, and I think I'm gonna really pursue over the next few months my left-handed forward handwriting so that I could further my performance and ability in this style of writing. I think it's really interesting this topic, so if you have any questions or if you have any feedback or anything that I may have missed in the video, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. If you have stayed tuned till the end of this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, check out the other videos in the Practical Penmanship playlist because I think you might find them interesting especially if you've enjoyed this video. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, make sure to check out my website if you haven't already, and you can follow me on my Instagram and other social media links to keep up with what I'm up to throughout the other days of the week. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your time. Take care.